So the iPhone 12 Pro is going to be insanely powerful and here's what we know about the setup on the iPhone 12 range. We're gonna get 5G in the iPhone lineup for the first time this year and Qualcomm recently released news of a brand new 5G modem called the X60 manufactured on a five nanometer node. This modem is going to allow for some insanely fast 5G speeds. And we know for sure since Apple and Qualcomm have signed a multi-year agreement for Apple to use Qualcomm modems, Apple will be using this X60 modem in future phones. However, for the iPhone 12 range, it looks really likely that Apple are in fact going to use the existing X60 50 modem, which we find in a ton of Android flagships too. What's important about the Qualcomm announcement is that five nanometer technology is very close. It's also expected that the new A14 chipset going the iPhone 12 range will be using five nanometer technology. This means it's going to be insanely powerful and power efficient. So what can we expect from the A14 chipset in the iPhone 12 Pro? We've seen Samsung come out with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is just insane in terms of a specs point of view. It's giving us 100 megapixel images, up to 100x zoom, and even 8K video recording. Mind you, 8K video doesn't have much image stabilization and 100x zoom is pretty blurry at that level, but the fact that you can even do it is a really good thing. So we would expect Apple to follow suit and the A14 chipset could definitely be capable of 8K video recording, but that doesn't mean Apple will give it to us. They only give us a feature when they know it's gonna work absolutely perfectly, especially when it comes to the camera. And if they did want to give us 8K, they would have to completely change the camera setup and give us at least one of the sensors having more than 30 megapixels, and that would be a big change for Apple. New designs, at least in the Pro models, are also being rumored. The three-year design cycle that Apple are now following is actually come to its end now. The notch will be staying, however, there's just too much within that notch, like 3D Face ID and the front firing speaker, so Apple can't get rid of that. But it is expected for them to slightly change the design and maybe make the notch smaller. There are also rumors suggesting Apple will get rid of the rounded design and go for an iPhone 4 or 5 type of design, much like we see in the modern iPads. Again, that's just rumors at this stage and we don't know if Apple are really going to take away that new modern rounded design and have it more like we see in the iPad Pro. 120 Hertz Pro motion displays have also been rumored and this is the spec that I want most on the new iPhones. Apple already have 120 Hertz ProMotion on the iPad Pros, and it's about time they bring it to the iPhone 2. Again, Samsung have given it to us this year. A 120 Hertz display with 240 Hertz sampling rate. It just makes the entire phone smoother. Everything glides across the screen and everything is more responsive to your touch. OnePlus implemented this with the 90 Hertz display to good effect. Now we've got Samsung bringing it in their flagship phones. And by the time the iPhone 12 comes out, it will be almost a standard thing in flagship phones. So please, Apple, don't disappoint me on this one. Some more news shows that Apple have started orders for some new iPads using screens that make up mini or micro LED panels. This is really important because lots of rumors were suggesting that in the future, Apple would use micro LED screen technology in iPhones. The report says that new iPad Pros with 5G coming out later this year will use these new screen panels. So I would suggest we wouldn't find those this year, but maybe in the 2021 iPhones, we could be seeing some micro LED panels in those. The benefit of mini or micro LED panels is that they are more power efficient. They also have a higher peak brightness and they don't suffer from any burn-in issues like OLED panels do. And just to finish off the news, we've got these iPad Pro case leaks. They do confirm that Apple will be going for the iPhone style camera bump on the iPad Pro. Apple are looking to add a more robust camera system on there to help with some AR applications. So it seems like we'll be getting that bump after all and the iPad Pro coming at the March or spring event along with the iPhone 9. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.